name is K. Felix, and I will come you to K. Felix Inspire. Always remember, if you're coming here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Please do stay tuned for more details in this video. You remember around the 15th of September, if memory serves me correct, the Anti-Corruption Commission issued a series of statements and they, along with those statements, they made it known to the public that there were several, they were carrying out several different investigations on certain people that had been accused of some type of crime. And one of the things that the ACC announced, one of the things they said, among many other things, they said a plethora of things, but one of the things that they announced and this is one of the items that made the news, at least on social media, it made the news. The ACC representative, a, a lady, said that they were investigating the activities of a known Lusaka counselor that had purchased or allegedly purchased a bank. Full stop. That's where they left it. They didn't elaborate. They didn't tell us any names. They didn't divulge any information beyond that. They left it at that. Now, when they did that, what they in a sense did was it was like taking a piece of meat and throwing it into a den of lions. You tell me what happens when you throw a piece of fresh meat in a den of hungry lions well the obvious is what happens they will devour it and so here it is the acc the anti-corruption commission made an announcement threw it into the public domain and social media being the vivacious beast that it is took that piece of meat and oh, I tell you what, we devoured it for all it was worth. In the public domain, the first, the, 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 the former president's daughter's name was being mentioned as having, as, as having bought this bank at 300 million. That was the assumption. Immediately. The former president's daughter issued a statement and she said, and of course this is all in, in the public, and she was very adamant, she was very clear. She said, I do not have the capacity to purchase a bank. I do not have the capability, the wherewithal or the dexterity, of course I'm paraphrasing, but basically, what, that, that's what she said. She said, I, I don't have the capacity to buy a bank. These allegations are both defamatory and they are false. And anyone that is peddling this lie will be sued. A day after that, I received a letter from Makebi, is it Makebi? Makebi Zulu? I have it here. Makebi Zulu. This, this is it here. Can you read that? Can you see that? Makebi Zulu. This letter was a demand letter and it came to me and it said in here, no uncertain terms, it said, Mr. Mwewa, we, we are aware that you have posted uh, information that has placed our client in, in, in bad light and we feel that your comments on your Facebook page uh, were, were, were retrogressive and our client demands that you apologize and retract. Now, let me get to the crux of the issue. The reason 
After I apologized, I received a, a writ of summons. You lawyers, correct me if I'm wrong, if that's is that, is that what it's called, it's a writ of summons. A document saying, Mr. Moyer, we're taking you to court. Now, this was after I'd apologized. And when I when I went, went through the, the, the summons, some information has come to me authentic information that shook me to the core and I'm going to take a moment here and I'm going to pause because what I'm about to tell you is stuff that you hear about in the movies I mean literally this is this is stuff you hear about in gangster movies this is godfather stuff you know the movie the godfather that's what this is. This is this is the American gangster stuff. Remember the American gangster, Denzel Washington, and and uh, um, what, what's the other guy's name? The guy that did Gladiator. What was his name? Tell me in the comments. Russell Crowe. There you go. Russell Crowe. This this is the information I'm about to share with you is. It's, it's gangster stuff. When this information, I came to the knowledge of this information, I realized the PF administration was a gangster organization. Are you hearing that? Are you, are you getting that? I want that to sink in for a moment. When I received the information and the data and the evidence that I have right now, this moment, I realize and understand that the Patriotic Front was a gangster, criminal, organization and it was from there that I decided to retract my apology let me tell you you guys have been talking about faith Musonda faith Musonda you're talking about 65 million kwacha, which is about $4 million. The information I have now here, and this is a fact, and I'm willing to present this in court. It will make Faith Musonda look like Little Red Riding Hood on a summer's day, picking daisies along the road. I'm going to say that again. The information that I have now, the information that has compelled me to withdraw my apology, and I am willing to face Tasila Lungu in court, the information is so damaging, it will make Faith Musonda look like Little Red Riding Hood on a summer's day picking daisies on the side of the road. Listen to me, Zambia. They were gangsters. They were gangsters. And everything they did, they did for themselves. They did for self-profit. They did for self-aggrandizement. And they did it at the expense of this nation. Mark my words. They are in for a bumpy ride. And here's the thing. President Lungo is not there to protect them. I want you to stick that in your pipe. And I want you to smoke it. Let me go further. 
and say, this information is so damaging that if we were in Italy, <laughs> I'd have been dead by now. If we were in, in 1935 America, New York City, I'd have been whacked by now. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? This is the type of information people get killed for. And just so you know, if anything happens to me, you know where to look. And I'm not joking when I say that. I'm very serious when I say that. Look into my eyes. If anything happens to me, you know where to look. Did you catch that? Did you hear that? That comes from a very serious place. You're not in Kansas anymore. This is serious. Okay. And that's all I have to say. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Bye-bye.